Do you qualify for a reverse mortgage? Well, in this video, we're about to find out. I'm Jeremy Nock with Golden Age Financial Solutions, and in this video, we're gonna walk you through what exactly the qualifications are to get a reverse mortgage. A reverse mortgage is hands down one of the best financial tools for seniors so that they can get rid of their mortgage payment, access their home's equity, use that to either age in place or right size, or just pay down some of those unmanageable bills. But you have to qualify first, because unlike other mortgages, the qualification for a reverse mortgage is completely different. It's not based on things like your income or your credit scores. Instead, it's based on your age and your available equity. Now, the first qualification is you've gotta own a home and you've gotta be at least 62 years of age or older. The second qualification is the property has to be your primary residence. What constitutes primary residence? It's gotta be the place where you file your taxes, have your driver's license, and you gotta live there at least six months and one day out of the year. Now, the home does have to meet FHA standards, which means things like no broken windows, no chips, cracks, peeling paint. You can't have basically a junkyard in your front yard, if you get what I'm saying. The key part is that you have to have equity. In fact, you have to have, depending on your age, somewhere between 28 and 62% of available equity in your home. So I want to take you through a scenario with how a reverse mortgage works, what it takes to qualify, and for the sake of easy math, we're going to use some ballpark figures. So let's say you're 62 years old and you have a house worth $500,000. Now, if you are 62 years old on the dot, you can access up to 42% of your home's value. So in that previous situation where the house is worth $500,000, you have access to approximately $210,000. Now, if your home is paid off, that's a pretty nice chunk for a line of credit. What if you had a mortgage? Let's say your mortgage balance was $100,000. Well, that's easy. That $100,000 mortgage balance would get paid off out of that $210,000. So you'd no longer have a mortgage payment. That would free up that monthly cash flow. And then on top of that, you'd have about $110,000 in remaining proceeds on your line of credit. Now remember, these are just ballparks. Now, let's take another example. So now let's say you're 86 and that house is still worth $500,000. At 86, you could access more like 72% of the value, or in that case, it's about $360,000. Let's say you still had a mortgage, and let's say that mortgage in that case was $200,000. Again, it's very easy. That $200,000 would get paid off out of that $360,000 in available proceeds. It would get rid of your mortgage payment, so you would have that increase in your monthly cash flow, and you would still start with about 160,000 in a line of credit. Now again, just ballparks. And in both those cases, remember, you would not have to make a mortgage payment ever again for as long as you live in the home. You see, that's why everyone's situation is different because not everyone has the same home value, the same loan balance, or the same age. So all those things contribute to what you can qualify for. So what does this mean in dollars and cents for a family? Let's say you're married. You're living in the home together, you've been married for a long time, and you guys are still making a mortgage payment. This is the perfect protection for your spouse. You see, the odds are that the man is gonna live less time than the woman. We have a shorter life expectancy. So let's say you've been married 35 years, you're both collecting social security checks, and you're still servicing that mortgage payment. Now, when the odds are the male predeceases, the odds are good that his social security check is more than the female's. Now. If that man passes away before his wife, that means he loses the social security check, that means they lose a potential pension check, and at that point you've just lost the love of your life and you still have to make a mortgage payment. You're left alone to cover all those bills by yourself right after you just lost your loved one. If you had a reverse mortgage already in place and one of you predeceases the other, you don't have to make the mortgage payment. That means your loved one can stay in that home for the rest of their life all without having any financial worries. And it's for reasons like this that the reverse mortgage is hands down one of the best financial tools for the senior citizen population. If you're interested in learning more about what a reverse mortgage can do for you, that's why I created the Golden Ticket. It's a step-by-step -step process that analyzes what you want and need during your retirement and creates that path just for you. We'll go deep into your needs, wants, and goals and come up with a tailored specific solution for you that meets all of those requirements. Whether that's aging in place, right-sizing your home, or just paying off a bunch of debt that you've had to rack up over the years. So, if you're interested in hearing more, follow the instructions on this video, we'll be in touch. I'm Jeremy Nock with Golden Age Financial Solutions.